India Semiconductor Ecosystem, Tata Electronics, is set to have started exports of limited quantities of semiconductor chips packaged at a pilot line at its Bengaluru-based research and development center. The packaged chip chips are being shipped to some of Tata Electronics partners in Japan, the US and Europe. The development comes, remember, as Tata Group companies lay lays the groundwork for new chip packaging unit in Morigaon in Assam and a $10 billion chip foundry in Dholera in Gujarat. There are also reports that the company is in the final stages of a successful tape out of semiconductor chips in 28, 40, 55 and 65 nanometer category and some other higher nodes. A tape out refers to the final result of designing process for integrated circuits or ICs or printed circuits board. Now, all in all, it does look like for the very first time, Tata Electronics making strides there and starting to export certain samples of semiconductors made here in India, in Bengaluru. My colleague Krishna Kumar joining us here on the show. Krishna, this is a big feat as far as India's semicon industry is concerned. Right, it's the beginning of a process. Uh, it's the beginning of the beginning of a process. Bear in mind, uh, to put it uh, in number terms, India's semiconductor uh, industry is expected to be worth $55 billion, according to an estimate, by the year 2026. And what we are, you know, with this export of chips, there are sample chips at the end of the day. And uh, Tata has been talking about partnerships with Tesla as well to supply chips for them. Uh, so in that sense, this is Tata essentially beginning that process of sending out its India-made chips. These are made in India chips uh, at the end of the day. And these are not, uh, you know, for any specific requirements and can be used in multiple uh, ways as well. So it's keeping options open. It is putting it out uh, to, it's like a tester, uh, mm -hmm. so to speak, testing the waters in terms of its own ability to be uh, a, a global chip maker. Bear in mind, Tata's at the forefront uh, of uh, of being the the number one chip maker in the country, as you rightly mentioned, the uh, chip assembly facility in in Assam and the chip making facility in in Gujarat as well, and with partnership with the power chip semiconductor manufacturing com uh, company of uh, of uh, Taiwan. So uh, the the Ta uh, Tata is making sure that even as it strikes partnerships with whom they can send they can sell the chips to partnerships to manufacture the chips and also setting up its own base of manufacturing. This will be an important step in that sense for Tata to to first of all do like it's like a market survey to see how well its own partners respond to some of the chips it makes in India. All right and uh, come to think of it you know spending a minute or so to understand and and make our viewers understand in the process how India's semiconductor industry or the ecosystem has flourished in the last couple of years. I've had the opportunity to recently talk to Micron to basically understand why is there so much buzz around semiconductor and where does India stand as far as that semiconductor trajectory is concerned. Some very interesting points that came to light was of course India it was a little slow to ride that bus, but India is riding that bus. Uh, and this comes, by the way, of various facilities, credit lines that have been made available to existing semiconductors players as well as to who other outside players. Now, to begin with, there is a very ambitious semiconductor mission plan, a $10 billion worth uh, of allocation which has been set aside. Apart from that, there is PLI for semiconductors. And so all in all, government in this, at the state level as well as at the center uh, trying to facilitate those players, private players from likes of Tata's and Micron's uh, and enabling them to set shop here in India. I think what's also heartening at this point in time is that this is for the first time from Tata Electronics table that chips that have been made in India have been exported out of India, samples of which will be tested by partners of Tata. This is for the first time that this has really happened in India. Right, and in fact, uh, this is the first time that we, India is foraying into uh, into making chips or fabricating chips. And we've been designing chips for, for the more longest than, time. For, yeah. for more than a decade, but we've not been actually, uh, you know, uh, they they're, they're all prefab uh, units, but not they're not fabricating units or the, or the ones that actually make the wafers or the chips. So India is making a beginning in terms of making those chips. As you're rightly pointing out, you know, there's Tata, there's Micron, uh, there is a 76,000 crore rupee se semiconductor mission stated by uh, the central government of India. So there's a concerted effort uh, being made, and India is making all kinds of chips. In, I mean, Tata itself has plans to roll out all kinds of chips from the 28 NM chips to the legacy 65 NM and 55 NM chips as Absolutely. well. So uh, the only question that I at this stage is that the chip making industry itself is moving at a very fast pace. Mm -hmm. And if you're noticing what's happening with global giants like, say, NVIDIA, you know, they're already in the process of, you know, where the AI chips 
the artificial intelligence chips are the ones that are really at the top of the table right now. My only curiosity and question here is that how soon can India get to making AI chips? Absolutely. So from R&D, which has been a part, an integral part of in India's DNA, in fact, Micron itself suggesting that they have R&D'd and patented at least 300 plus patents have been registered as far as chip making is concerned from Hyderabad and Bengaluru. From that to a foundry, which is also now coming up in Gujarat, from Tata's to Micron's, all have, uh, you know, shown interest to an ATMP plant. It's all in all entire ecosystem for chips that is being developed now in India. Good news there as far as India's semiconductor prowess is concerned.